Hi everyone, I am the Roaring Ra and welcome to another 3D Designed All tutorial. Today we're going to do the video I've been meaning to do for quite a long time and it is how to download models via the Designed All website into 3D Designed All. It's great if you don't want to create the pose yourself, if someone's already created the pose, it saves you quite a lot of time trying to do it yourself if you don't feel too confident using a lot of the features in the program. And here's how we're going to do it. Up here in the very top of the screen where it says enter DA number. DA just stands for Doll Altier. Now that's basically the website and we're going to show you how that works now. It's this simple website here. It's by Terrawell Software. If all you do is just type in 3D Design Doll Poses into Google, this is the first website that's going to pop up. But I'll provide a link down this into the description so it's easy enough to find. And guys, this is fantastic. All you have to do is just select a pose. You find the one you want, so let's go for a running pose. Running poses can be the trickiest ones to recreate because there's so much weight involved in them. Um, let's try and go for something that's a little more complicated. I mean, this is quite a weight-based one right here. So all you do is select the doll, and it's this number up here that you're looking for, DA. So simply highlight, copy, go back into your program. All you do is click up here. That's all you do, click, the number pastes itself automatically, press enter, wait for it. Sometimes it takes a while, you might be trying to load quite a lot of things, depends on your computer speeds. And there you go, look at that. A model already imported for you. It has all the weight distributions set up for you. Now, you can still adjust this model as much as you want. It will all be down here. Now, here's a new symbol that we're not used to seeing. It's called Import Mesh. All that basically means is that this is it's in particular for this item here because 3 Design Doll does not have objects, at least not to this calibre. This item was most likely made in a program like Blender or 3D Max. More than likely Blender, that's what it seems to look like. Blender seems to always have this lovely blue sheen to their items. Could be wrong on that one. Not entirely sure. I'm not very familiar with Blender. I just know that whenever I seem to download objects for Blender, it always has this lovely kind of pale blue sheen to it. And I quite like it. But all that means is you can adjust it slightly. So if you do want it a little bit smaller... Let's see, 1.1, 1 .1. you can make it a little bit smaller. That's just to the scale of the person that you're using it for. 5.5, uh, huge, a bit ridiculous, no. <laughs> 0 0.1, give him a tiny one. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a little toffee hammer. <laughs> Fear the toffee hammer. <laughs> Such a dramatic pose, and it's the tiniest little hammer in the world. The toffee must be cracked! <laughs> not professional, not professional, Sarah. Come on, behave yourself. Never. <laughs> I made myself laugh, and that's all I care about. <laughs> but there we go. Now, this object you can rotate. You can move up or down. It's not bound to this character which is quite handy. So it means if you don't particularly want it, if you want to adjust it slightly, if you want to change the pose of the character, you are in full control of that. And you can still move your character anyway. Now, the brilliant thing is, when these models were first created, it does have some kind of attachment that does allow you to move the character with the item. So that's quite handy. But you're not, again, entirely bound to it. You can still move the item. But the item is bound, I guess, in a sense. But all you would have to do is just move the item. Or move the body first and then the item afterwards. So, in a way, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll retract that. It is, whoops, see daisies. <laughs> I'll retract that. It is still bound somewhat to the character. But not to the point where you are massively restricted by it. So, there's some, there is a little give in there for everybody to use. <clears throat> but it is so handy. Because now you can just remodel this pose to however you want. You can still adjust. 
where the character is, you can fix the fingers, you can still do everything that you normally did with this character. And that, that just makes life so much easier. <clears throat> you can still adjust everything to the way you want. If you wanted to give it more masculine features, you could definitely do that. Like anything you want to adjust, you can still do it. The character and the model are not at a limit. There's just some slight restrictions, but they're not anything that are difficult to overcome. So we'll test it out again. Go through the poses. You don't even need to click on it. You could just remember the number yourself, but it helps. Highlight the number. Copy. Back into Design Doll, click, enter, and there you are. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dearie dear, my throat. Now, isn't that just so much easier to have to do? If you have so many characters you're trying to do, or if you can't find the reference you're looking for, or maybe you just can't be bothered, you just don't want to go through the process of modelling the character, you just want to draw. And you don't want to go through that process of modelling the character, because maybe that's not something you're very good at. Here you go, it's all here for you, it makes, it, makes life so much easier. It's a little bit slow now, there we go. <laughs> Oh, this one looks cool. Gimme, 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 gimme. I want this one. And you don't have to have just one model either. You can have many as you want. Look at that one. Oh, super cool. Oh, the, okay, now this actually looks like it could be a comic. <laughs> the Reaper and the Fairy. I like it. This could actually be a comic cover. Yeah, like, r r right there is the cover of a comic. I love it. My idea. The Reaper and the Fairy. It's all mine. <laughs> anyway, guys. That was simply how to import pre-made poses and partly objects into 3D Design Doll to make your drawing experiences a lot easier. I am the Rory Rar. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to share the video and take care. Bye.